Mika. Handing it off for Jetter. Nice bounce pass. Back oh. to Mika! The double clutch. Ooh, ooh, man. If you don't think he's special, you need to come see this young man play. two-hand chair. Oh, man. This is... Eric Mika just rises out of the crowd. Mika, what the hammer? This is Johnson back in the game now. Gets it to uh, Mika. Mika out of Brigham Young, able to put it in off the glass, and a Viper player up. We'll see it again right here. So it looked like he hit his head. Want their own development, them working with the young guys, and setting the type of professional attitude. That oh, guys. give me that! The two-handed swap by Mika. Just that shot, Jenna went over and dapped him up right away. Great block there, great run out, and uh, Sissoko. A good start to the second half for the Birmingham squadron. Mika on the roll, nice footwork and the finish plus the foul. Much, but when he hands the ball off, you have to help off on the dribble penetration and he dives to the basket. Mika has it out front and stolen by Omarui. It's a two on one break. Omarui to Jang and he misses the flush. Could have been partially blocked. Jenner will use the screen for Mika, gets it back to the pick. Oh, the glass, plus the foul. Why? Because he's knocked down jump shots. You got to play him, and he's smart enough to know when he has a shot. Ignite has forced five turnovers on the Warriors. Here's one on one. Mika got his man off balance. Eric Mika finishing. What a move. They can see that 88 on front. He gets the basketball, and he normally pays it off. Mika trying to go right back at him. Up and under move gets to the rim. Being picked up by the veteran Jenner. Kennedy curling, tried that lob there, but Mika not having any of it. Jenner with a nice pass to Young, leaves it behind for Miller, who flushes it. There's your paint touch, Coach. Mika on the block, and he makes some pay off the glass. It just creates more. Ignite has to do as a team. A lot of times the shot goes up, and they think Mika's going to get it, or Miller's going to get it, and they everybody's got to commit to rebounding the ball. Eric Mika and one. Different tonight because Eric Mika is back on the floor. The big man, the enforcer. He's propelling Ignite. They trail by three. I haven't seen that one lazy Argentine player. Eric Mika working again. Vipers down 73-61, down by 12. The biggest lead for the Ignite in the first half was 10. And look at Mika's range. Oh. He'll be ready, too. Pacheco working against the big man. No, no, no. Eric Mika with the rejection. Mika has four fouls. Here's Mika with the ball. Working against Diabate. Gets to his left oh, hand and lays it in. The hook shot for Eric Mika. He's got a personal pride on how he plays and it's more of his actions than his words. Mika going against Fareed. What a finish. Eric Mika. This Ignite is just a really good program. Eric Mika, the head of the pack. Throw it down, big man. <laughs> Here's Mika. A little inside out dribble there. Mika getting all the way to the cup. You've noticed so many times how Graves has really has stepped up his game and has really given a lot to this Ignite team. Ignite with the switch inside. They've got Mika on the block and he makes some pay. Johnson trying to get around a screen. Ten to shoot now. Jenkins with it. Give and go with Mika. Up and a one-hand slam. Frustration for the Vipers. Let's hope this timeout can change it if you're a Vipers fan. 6.29 to go here in the... They keep the ball in the big three's hands so they wind up making real good decisions. 
Mika finds the cutting Jenkins. Sissoko trying to push the pace. Mika, backdoor cut to John Jenkins to perfection. As you were saying about local trial players. Yeah, one of my local trial players that... Uh... He's a tough matchup right now with the lineup that Ignite has on the floor. Backdoor cut, there's Graves. Just a crafty move to slip free. Oh, that was a walk. Oh, what a block! Eric Mika with the rejection. Approaching the midway point here in quarter number two. And a game ignites, have controlled almost from the opening tap as Henderson gets another lay-in. 96 career games in the NBA for Keelan Martin, the fifth year man from Butler University. He's been the leading scorer for the squadron so far this year. Got beat on the back cut that time as Henderson's got his first bucket. Without question, I mean, the character that young man has is without question makes him a valuable commodity for any team. John Jenkins. Quinones may be getting away with a push of Sissoko, allowing Williams to get the rebound. Nice block, Mika. Sissoko rising and finishing. Off to Jeter. Here's Mika. Got it. When you play against the Santa Cruz team, you have to make the second rotation because they do a good job of driving and penetrating. That's how you finish, Eric Mika. True indeed. Sissoko inside to Eric Mika. Oh, oh it's going to go down. E Uno. Scoot Henderson in the lineup. Dawkins over the second quarter. Mika tip slams at home. And a nice play by Mika. And this is the area where it's been a struggle at times for Ignite. You've got Sidi Sissoko running the point as Eric Mika is able to get a nice turnaround. But playing without a true point guard. Miller trying to get it back. It's too strong. Mika the rebound. Nice Goes save. up and finishes. And a good bucket out by Marcus Graves. That was a good defensive sequence right there for a night. They got back. They didn't give an easy shot. Graves at the finish. Eric Mika, the enforcer. Talked to them before the season started, and they said that their relationship before coming to Ignite is definitely going to show. So to your point, Mojave King. And you see Mika. The Spurs just one spot ahead of them, 29th in the league. But right now, the Ignite, it's an offensive renaissance. Here in this third quarter. The pace has picked up over the last few possessions. Mika inside, a two-handed stuff. Our coverage of the NBA G League here on NBA TV, right after this. Jader setting up. Mika goes in, gets hammered, and won. Thompson tried to block it, couldn't. First time since it was two to nothing.